Hello, my name is Jonathan Rosales. I'm a part of the Introduction to Music by Berkeley in the Coursera website. And uh, this is my assignment for uh, week six. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using Logic Pro X. And the synth, the synth that comes with it is called Retro Synth. So with the envelope and the synthesizer, what we are doing, in fact, is that we are defining a path before and ahead of the time uh, with the f with the four controls uh, known as ADSR. Uh, those four letters stand for attack time, decay time, sustain level, and release time. Uh, it's almost like a percussive kind of sound and it's what you will hear in a, in an organ for example that when you press uh, the sound goes in in automatically and when you release or take out the note automatically to do that is we lower the attack and then we set the release also to the minimum and you can hear now the difference to before this type of filter um, or envelope it's great to emulate for example the sound of an organ here I've been also touching some other settings the rate uh, of the vibrato and FLO to emulate something like an organ. Now for this, the next the example, it's percussive. Uh, the signal that you sound. I will just put the attack very low, but not not too slow because you can hear the click. There is like a click. You can avoid it just to increase a little bit the attack. Now it's gone. Damped percussive, that which is similar. Uh, damped percussive would be just increasing a little bit the decay. So that basically the decay is uh, controlling the sound of the note. Using an uh, arpeggiator and just let you hear it. My next example is uh, blow, uh, blowing or bowing, which is uh, emulating what the strings or like violin or brass is doing. Uh, so to be able to achieve this, I will use attack around between 0 and 10%, decay also between 0 and 10%, for example, somewhere in between here, sustain should be between 50 and 90%, so let's just put it about 60-70%. And then release is again between 0 and 10. This is 10 seconds, I would put it around here. And let's hear it now. But still the release is too, too high, I have to make it slower. Yeah, now it's better. Finally, because honestly, with Quirk, I don't know exactly what a musical application I would be using it, but um, I was thinking maybe use instead creating something like a sustain or path that I think I use very much in many of the music that I create. So to, to do that, I will be using a very slow attack and also my release would be slow and sustain would be high. Decay I really don't care so much but this is a cool sound or something like that, let's see. But so with these settings uh, it's something that very common and uh, something that you can probably adjust yourself and create a cool pad sound using the different envelopes and wave shapes and stuff. So I hope this could be useful. Uh, this, by far, I think this lesson has been the ch most challenging. A lot of things to study and to work and to understand. Uh, but at the end, I think it has been very good to be able to get deeper understanding and uh, to be able also to master some of the concepts. So you can, uh, you know, at the end, you can really uh, know how and create your own sound. So thank you, and I hope you have enjoyed this demo. Bye.